Hey everyone, I'm Jake from Jake M Media and today we'll be doing an audio test of the Zoom H1N. Now the purpose of this video is to let you guys hear the various tests of sound quality to help you determine if the Zoom H1N is the right sound recorder for you. And in this test, I'll be taking the Zoom H1N into as many different scenarios as possible so we can see how it does in the different audio atmospheres. Some of the different scenarios we'll be going into include things like white noise, traffic sounds, nature sounds, I'll be doing a handheld mic, we're going to put it on the camera, and there's a few others. With that all said, let's get into the audio test. White noise test, gain set to 6. Handheld mic without dead cat, gain set to 5. Okay, so this is just a handheld mic test without using the dead cat, and we're outside right now just testing the audio quality of the Zoom H1N. Handheld mic with dead cat, gain set to 5. Okay, so we're just doing a handheld mic test using the dead cat. And we're outside right now, just testing out the audio quality of the Zoom H1N. Wind test without dead cat, gain set to 5. Wind test with dead cat, gain set to 5. On camera mic test, gain set to 7. Okay, so now we have the Zoom H1N mounted directly to my camera. And it's not plugged into the camera, but it's just sitting on top and we're just doing an audio test outdoors of the Zoom H1N. Mic plugged directly into camera, gain set to 4. Okay, so now we have the Zoom H1N mounted on the camera and it's also plugged into the camera and we're just doing an audio test outdoors of the Zoom H1N. Sound effects, nature sounds, gain set to 9. Sound effects, footsteps test, gain set to 7. Sound effects, footsteps, but on pavement, gain set to 7. Sound effects, running water, gain set to 9. Traffic sounds, gain set to 7.
typing on a computer, gain set to 8. Clicking pen, gain set to 5. Gain distance test, gain from 0 to 10. Gain noise test, gain from 0 to 10. Alright, so far we've done general audio tests and gain tests with the Zoom H1N. But now we're going to move on to testing the functions. Just a few of the functions we'll be testing include things like the low cut filter, the limiter filter, the auto level, and a few others. Anyways, let's get into the testing. So for this first functions test, we're going to be testing out the low cut filter on the Zoom H1N. All the low cut filter does is take out all the low frequencies in your audio. Uh, low frequencies can be anything like the sound of thunder or a tuba or anything similar to those. Low cut filter test, gain set to 6, low cut filter set to 80 hertz. Alright, so we're outside right now and we're testing out the low cut filter on the Zoom H1N. And the low cut filter is set to 80 hertz, the gain is set to 6. How does this sound? Low cut filter test, gain set to 6 low cut filter set to 120 hertz. All right, so we're outside and we're testing out the Zoom H1N's low cut filter. The gain is set to six and the low cut filter is set to 120 hertz now. How does this sound? Low cut filter test, gain set to six, low cut filter set to 160 hertz. All right, so we're outside right now and we're testing out the low cut filter on the Zoom H1N. Right now the low cut filter is set to 160 hertz and the gain is set to six. How does this sound? Okay, so for this next functions test, we're gonna be testing out the limiter on the Zoom H1N. All the limiter is supposed to do is stop the mic from peaking. And I'll put an example of peaking up right here. Um, so yeah, that's all there is to it. Let's get into the test. Limiter test, gain set to 6. Alright, so we're outside right now and we're testing out the limiter on the Zoom H1N. We have the limiter turned on right now and the gain is set to 6. How does this sound? Alright, so for this final function test, we're going to be testing out the auto level function on the Zoom H1N. All this auto level function is supposed to do is automatically set the gain level. Auto level test, gain automatically set. Alright, so we're outside still and we're testing out the auto level function on the Zoom H1N. I don't have any control over the gain here. The gain is automatically set. So how does this sound? Alright guys, so we're back in the car. We're all done with the testing. And in my honest opinion, I think the Zoom H1N performed really well, especially considering that it's a relatively cheap sound recorder. Now I'm not trying to sell you guys on this sound recorder. If you watched this video and it made you realize that the Zoom H1N isn't right for you, 
then that's fine. I just wanted to make this video to show you guys the overall audio quality of the Zoom H1n. Anyways, if you guys want to check out the Zoom H1n, I'm going to link it in the description down below. And that's going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed watching this video and would like to see more just like this, subscribe by clicking right here. Thanks for watching and always remember to capture great moments.